Okay. Could it be that, I mean, and I've seen a letter that you've been sent, Robert, yes. from uh, the police in Scotland, uh, that says there isn't enough evidence. Yes. You know, it's, it's Holly's word against, well, yes. I know they haven't bothered interviewing most yes. of the people that she's accused. Well, but they haven't. The, as policemen, their duty is to go out and find the collaboration, right? If they're not going to go and interview these people, how, or even go to their homes, look on their computers, you know, all this sort of stuff, how are they going to get collaboration? Okay. They haven't yeah, interviewed that's... anyone yes. apart from my husband, and I had to, two years later, right, they eventually spoke to my son. And then they apologized to him, the police apologized. They apologized to your son? Yes for bringing him from Portugal, and they said that he would never be bothered again. They brought him from Portugal, didn't they? Yes. Where he lives with your f husband, My, your ex-husband, his father. Yes. Okay, well, I think we need to talk about your son, don't we? Mm -hmm. And it's a very painful and yes. difficult it is. area. Yes. Um, let's talk about him. Okay, well, again, uh, when they were small, he's three years older than Holly, so he was the first victim, technically. Yeah, you know, and uh, when they were small, it was sort of like a, a three, you know, a father, my uh, son, and Holly, and my husband was encouraging, you know, both of them to sort of do things to one another, plus to do to him as well. Yeah. You know? And then he kind of. And when it wasn't till Holly, what Holly has told us and told the police and everything, it wasn't till she was older uh, that all these other people uh, came into the equation. And it was his family, his friends, uh, you know, and mates. But your know. son is still with your ex-husband. Yes. And he's 33 now. He's 33, yes. So he's, in whatever way, he's cast his lot in with yes. his father. Yes, that's correct. Now, I don't know if that is through choice or through intimidation. Because Holly was threatened with her life, uh, that he would kill her. And the dogs. And the dogs. And they would kill me as well. That's what she was told. So the reason that she if kept she quiet told, for yes. 14 years yes. was for your sake. Yes. Because obviously she loves you. Yes. And her father had told her, and, and of course I don't know this, but mm -hmm. this is your story. Mm -hmm. um, your, your husband had told her yes. that he would kill you mm -hmm. as well as her dogs and her. That's right. If she spoke. If she spoke. That's right. So well, let me if, ask Holly about okay. this. Holly. You want to sit forward, is this, Holly? Is this true, Holly? Yeah. You remember this well, do you? Yeah. Did he say this to you often? No. Can you hear what he's saying? No, she can't hear you. You're going to have to speak up. Okay. She's got, I understand. She's yeah, got she's aids. got hearing aids and she's deaf. So, Holly, so. When, did your father say to you often that he would kill your mother and your dogs if you spoke about what was happening to you. Yeah. He said this often, did he? And you believed him? No. You didn't believe him? Well, you didn't believe that he would kill your mother. So why did you stay quiet then? He didn't kill your mother. I'm sorry, what did she say? He did say that he would kill them. He did say. Mm -hmm. But you didn't believe him? No. Okay. All right, okay. All right, thank you, Holly. Okay. Um, I know, well, I know. It is difficult, isn't it? Yeah. It is. And, and I know there are people, and there will be people, who watch this who say, it's a tissue of lies. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, it's revenge on mm -hmm. your husband. Well, I can assure you it's not. I, you know, I have to sometimes be the devil's advocate yes, I on know. this, I'm afraid, you know. And I, and I know it's very, very, very hard. I mean, mm -hmm. who would knowingly put themselves through this? Yeah, exactly. For 10 years, I don't think so. Okay, so, so, but there were, okay, let's get back to these, what was happening and people standing in your way. So for, for a long time, you were trying to get justice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I well, was just basically writing to every uh, complaint department that there was, you know, in Aberdeen and then Mental Welfare Commission, you know, you name it, trying to get all the, the you know, the sort of documents and everything. And, uh, 
And then, as I told you, I went to Stuart Usher, and you know, he sort of advised me, you know, with other people to sort of write too. And uh, but prior to that, uh, you know, I was in contact with the Downs Association mm -hmm. and also Enable. And what is Enable? It's a charity. Uh, it's part of. Um, oh. Uh, there's what's MEMCAP, isn't it? Yes, that's right. Yeah. I think it's uh, affiliated to the yes, uh, to MEMCAP. The I think it's MEMCAP and yeah. the mental welfare. But it, that's a, the Scottish equivalent, yeah. You know? And they, you know, said that we should go to, uh, you know, the CICA. So we did that, and um, we've got, you know, sort of documents from Grampian Police stating that, uh, you know, Holly was a truthful witness, and. Uh, you know, she was awarded eight, she was actually awarded eight and a half thousand. Right? Initially? Initially, yes. And uh, it was just after that that we came down to Shropshire because we wanted to get out of Aberdeen and we were helped by Women's Aid and uh, the Downs Association to go down to Shropshire. And then uh, we went down there and we kept, uh, you know, sort of campaigning down there as well, you know. And when we were down there, Holly was getting special counselling because she was, uh, by that time she'd started self-harming and, uh, you know, she has panic attacks as well, you know, because of this and nightmares and stuff. She's still having, are you still yeah. having these, Holly? Yeah. You're still having them, are you? But yeah. you're not self-harming anymore, are you? No. Good. No, we we'll managed to get her. The, the counsellor she's got is actually very good and instead of hurting herself. She now has got pens and paper and she, you know, puts, puts her anger onto to paper. So, oh, that's a good uh, idea. Yeah. So, and then it goes right into the, the middle and sometimes she even tears that paper and she'll maybe go through maybe four or five full scap bits, you know, before yeah. it alleviates and it's, you know, she comes back to uh, You've got a house full of angry art, have you? Yeah, well, we've got a lot of slamming doors and stuff like that. Did, yeah. If I may say, uh, yeah, um, I, I think uh, perhaps a couple of things I would like to bring into this. I okay. think it's important for people who are watching and have listened to the earlier questions and answers. Uh, first, Holly has not only been described as a truthful witness, but a competent witness as well. So, mm -hmm. And because of a tremendous memory, which uh, is consistent with having mm -hmm. Down syndrome, often vague, excellent memories, long memories, Probably about as good a witness they've, they've as they possibly have. They've actually got, what they say, they've got like photographic memories, you know. Is it a bit like um, Rain Man, you know? Yes, that? yes, Rain yeah. that's correct. Yeah, very yes. much the same sort of thing. Yes. That, that is, yes. that is. The Although moment. that was a form of autism. That's right? a yeah. form of autism, autism, but Down syndrome have got very similar. Uh, their memory is like in a photograph, you know, they can actually, uh, and, you know, sort of picture it and see and things. And you can ask her about a specific detail of, yes. of who was there yes. and, yes. and what they she said. She can go, and, you know, yes. way, way back, you know, and, uh, uh, exactly, yeah. and tell you the colour of the curtains. Or, mm. And you've and transcribed all this data, have you? you yes. You've got extensive... I know you carry a We've, suitcase full of papers with you because they've been stolen... That's correct. Yes. ...so many times, yes. as mm -hmm. you said. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. and seized. Anyway, well, let's mm -hmm. get to the point. Let's get let's get uh, Robert properly in the room then here. Right. Because after this, these years of frustration, mm -hmm. of as you say, banging your head on a brick wall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You you some, somehow you met Robert. How did this come apart then? Uh, well, it was through Stuart Usher. Okay. Uh, uh, he said he says there's a, a man just uh, joined. Uh, you know. The organisation against The organisation, because mm -hmm. Robert had his, had his own case that he was, was fighting at the time. And he actually asked Stuart, uh, you know, you can tell the story of yes, your, your yes, girlfriend. Indeed. Because you're, you sort of put yourself forward as a, as a lay legal advisor. Uh, and, and well, lay, legal, lay legal representative is the correct okay, Lay type, legal yeah. representative. That's, that's and you're correct. recognised in law as that. Yes, right? indeed. Rec so, so you have um, I have no privilege, legal yes, privilege. Yes, I have legal, no qualification, but I do have legal privilege. And okay. that has been... Uh, so they accepted. can't take your notes away from... But the, well, they have, they have done, actually. Well, that's why I'm asking <laughs> you the question, Robert. <laughs> I don't think they can take Funny it. Funny enough. <laughs> um, so, um, you became involved when? How long ago was that? Uh, it was... Um, Stuart approached me uh, around about the end of 2008, beginning of 2009. Okay. 
Um, I'd made a, a speech to the annual general meeting of uh, SACL uh, a little earlier than that, and I think as a result, is, uh, SACL? Scotland against crooked lawyers, which oh, is the uh, which is part of which I'm standing for at the moment. For. In Aberdeen South. Uh, that's right. I, I was invited to talk about another case I'm dealing with. Nothing to do with this whatsoever. It's to do with the uh, fraud in the travel industry in, in England. Um, but uh, I've been fortunate to get a little bit of press coverage and a, a television documentary made on, on the case. And as a result, Stuart said, is there anything that you can possibly... I know you, she, he said, I know you're up to your eyes with the case you're dealing with, but could you do anything to help these two poor ladies who are living in... who had to flee their own country to live 